Hey crafters and welcome back to Do It Girl. So Halloween is next week and chances are you're either attending a Halloween party or throwing one. And who wants to go around buying expensive Halloween decorations that look like everyone else's? So this week I'll show you how to stand out with my glass jar Halloween lanterns. Let's do it girl. For your Halloween lanterns, you're going to need some empty glass jars. I'm going with a variety of shapes and sizes so that each lantern looks different. But definitely feel free to use the same exact jar for a cute uniform look too. You're also going to need scissors, craft glue and a paintbrush, glossy Mod Podge, black paper, acrylic paint, and tissue paper. Now your acrylic paint and tissue paper depends on what type of a lantern you want to make. If you're going with a pumpkin lantern, for example, then you would grab orange tissue paper for the body of the jar and then green paint for the top. If you're going to be doing a ghost or a mummy lantern, then you're going to want to grab some off-white tissue paper with some black paint for the top. And if you're going to be making a Dracula lantern, well, you get it. Finally, since you're making a lantern, you're going to need some lights. Get battery operated tea lights or string lights that you can stick into your jars. All right, let's get started. Step one. The first step is to measure and cut your tissue paper so it'll be the right size for your jar. Match your paper's height to your jar's height and cut accordingly. Then slice your newly sized paper into two inch strips. Step two. The next step is to glue your tissue paper to your jar. Brush your glue in sections onto the outside of your jar. Then simply lay down one strip of tissue paper at a time and smooth it out carefully with your fingers. Continue gluing until your entire jar is covered in your tissue paper. Step three. While your jar is drying, go ahead and create the face of your lantern using your black paper. Now you can go online and look up face templates or you can just get creative and make up your own. Either way, glue the face to your jar. Then apply a coat of glossy Mod Podge over the entire jar, including your face design, to lock everything into place. You don't have to use Mod Podge here, but the glossiness really helps give your paper that extra shine, which will then match the shininess of your glass jar. So I'd recommend it. The last step is to paint the top of your jar to finish off your lantern's look. If you wanted to keep the lid of your jar for decorating purposes, then feel free to simply paint that too. If that's the case, try crafting with a mason jar so you can quickly take out the lid center in order to easily access your tea light. Or you can simply create a hole in the top of your lid using a hammer and a nail. Like when I made a DIY to-go jar with Ashley Adams on Craftine, you can find the full tutorial there. And speaking of Miss Ashley, she's going to be guest starring on an episode of Do It Girl in the very near future. Yes! <laughs> but that's not yet, so uh, let's get back to the lanterns. Step five. Once your paint and glue have dried, the last step is to throw in your light and enjoy your hard work. But let's be honest, it wasn't that hard of work. This Halloween jar is just so easy to make. In fact, I think I have enough time to make some more. Monster montage. a monster mashup. As far as the lanterns go, there are a million and one ways of making them. Like instead of using tissue paper, you can follow my stained glass jar lights video from last year and then just coat the inside of the jar with glass paint. Or instead of using black construction paper, you can save a step and just use black sticker paper. Honestly, you can even ditch the lantern thing altogether. Just set these suckers by the window and have the sunlight give them a daytime glow for some simple room decor. Now you're all ready for your Halloween party. Bada bing, bada boop. What type of Halloween lantern did you make? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Questions answered preemptively. Can you use actual tea lights or candles? Well, that might make kind of a mess when the wax melts onto the bottom of your glass jar. Plus, the heat of the candle is going to heat up your jar, and that's going to affect the integrity of the tissue, paper, and glue. So technically, yes, you can if you take off the lid or have a big hole in the lid, but I would recommend against it. Do you have to do exactly two inch strips? Of course not. Make them as wide or as thin as you like. And you don't even have to lay them side by side. You can just decoupage them all over for a textured multicolor look. And finally, some other ways of decking out your jars would be to add arms to like a Frankenstein monster or a tail for a cat. Or if you're only doing pumpkins, go ahead and wrap green wire around the top of the lid to make it look like a pumpkin patch. Plus, that'll be a fun way of hanging them. And just remember that even though I'm doing a Halloween theme video today, you can always do a brown turkey for Thanksgiving or a white snowman for Christmas. 
or skip the holiday theme in general and do something like a yellow ducky or a blue bunny for some fun room decor. All right, everybody, go kick some glass.